Good morning guys, uh, it is day, I have no idea what day it is of the daily vlogging series and uh, I'm heading to the studio. Don't really have much to work on or that I can work on but I, I think I'm going to start decorating and trying to build up a charging system, stuff like that. So let's head over there. Okay, I'm in the space. Sorry about the mess. It is an absolute disaster in here because, well, yeah, this happened. I'm gonna explain this in a future video because I wanna make a whole video about it. But yeah, this happened. And you might not know what that is, but it's something really cool. Anyways, I feel like I haven't done a really good job of explaining the situation here. There's been a lot of questions about things like, am I allowed to rip up the basement? Shouldn't the owner take care of the water damage and stuff like that. So when I was looking for a space here in Lagos, my whole goal was a gallery. All I wanted was a gallery and it would have been a bonus if I could also have like a little office. So this space looked perfect. I could use this whole area as a gallery. I could rip out most of the bar, put more gallery there or keep the bar. And then that back area that's the kitchen could have been my office. It looked perfect. Then the owner took me to the basement and he said, there's also a basement here you should check out. And I said, can we turn this into a commercial space? Like, could I turn this into a coffee cave? Like that might be something super cool. And he said that there's a law in Portugal that the roofs have to be of a certain height before they can be used commercially, before clients can go in. And it's too short. I believe the height's 280 centimeters and that one's about 270 or something like that. So it's impossible to use for commercial space. I asked him, can I rip it up and use it as a, a studio and an office for filming? He said, you can do whatever you want to it. You can rip out the floors, you can rip out the walls, you can do whatever you want to it. It's totally fine. The history of this studio or the history of this upstairs area and downstairs area is Kind of strange, the downstairs area was apparently a gym at one point, which is why there was that rubber floor in the mirrors. Then it was a bar, which is why there's a bar. It's also why there's all those really dusty bottles of beer downstairs, which are still full, but I think they're probably expired. I don't know if beer has an expiry date. And then the third thing it was, was really recently, a Brazilian artist came here and tried to turn this into a gallery for her art which is why there's beautifully painted walls, there's a brand new floor in place, and it's why there's these lights which are typical in galleries and art galleries. But then the pandemic hit in March, and in April she decided she didn't want to continue or she couldn't continue, so she left this space, leaving it open for me and for Jody. So that's kind of like the history of what's going on and that's why the basement is totally like free reign and I can do whatever I want with it. It's also why the owner doesn't have to do any cleaning or uh, fixing things down there because it's not actually a rented space. We're paying for the upstairs, not the basement. Studio is really coming together. I feel like it's piecing together. It, it's amazing to see how much it's changed. Still a lot of work needs to go into it. I uh, was planning, as you know, to um, put the acoustic foam on the entire walls, but I ran out of the foam already and this company that makes this foam uh, no longer has any in stock. So I, I don't know what to do. I might just buy a different type of foam and deal with the fact that it's gonna look slightly different. It does look good though. The one thing is that uh, <laughs> you guys are way smarter than me. Let's just point that out now. And you mentioned that I should have painted the wall black. That way any of the like gaps wouldn't be noticeable. There's so many gaps. But now uh, I'm just gonna own it and just live with the gaps. They're there, whatever. Um, but it already sounds better. Uh, you can't hear as much of an echo. There's still an echo, but it definitely sounds better. And all I've done is this corner. I still need to add acoustic foam to this wall, this wall. I'm gonna put a carpet in here. I'm gonna put a, a couch in here and a carpet there as well. So it should be really soundproof. I don't know what to do with the roof. Uh, I might just hang some like cubes of 
of foam in kind of a clever way. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna hopefully get somebody to remove the AC. I don't want it in here. I don't know how hot it gets in the summer, but for now it's fine. And for now, I think I wanna start running some wires and try to come up with like a charging system uh, and try to figure that out. This blue toolbox is gonna to be my gear box. That's where I'm gonna keep my camera gear. And also it's gonna be a charging station. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. If I wanna build some sort of charging system on the side, or if I wanna keep it on the top. Uh, and I just kinda, of, yeah, I kinda of gotta figure out how I'm gonna run the wires. Yeah, I think let's run some, some cables and see if we can turn this into a charging unit. I decided to move the gearbox to the other side. I feel like it's less out of the way and I think it'll actually look nice once the prints are up on the wall. So it's moved there for now. This, the, there's a problem in this space in that there's not enough power. There's a uh, power there and then there's like this one up on the wall, but I hate it. So I want to cover it actually. I don't want to use it. And then I need the power on the other side because that's gonna be a printing station, so I need power there. And I also don't wanna blow fuses. So I think what I'm gonna to have to do actually is run a bunch of wires that go out and then come back behind here so they're hidden and that I don't trip on them and that come up under here towards the desk. Right now I have it set up like this with some stuff on top charging, but eventually what I wanna do is I wanna put some double-sided Velcro on the sides and then make this the charging station on the sides and then maybe put my my actual toolbox on top here or something else up top so still trying to figure this out i'm now i don't have any money <laughs> it's yeah i mean i yeah i don't have any money i basically spent my budget <laughs> way before i was hoping to and uh, i still have the TV that needs to go here and the sofa that goes needs to go here. Those two things that together will cost about 1200 euros. And uh, yeah, that's really on, honestly all that I need to buy, I think. But I still want like a coffee table out there. And when the owner left me this place, <laughs> there's all this basically garbage stuff that was left behind here. Some ply board, there's old doors. And I found this chest board, or at least I think it's chess, uh, here. And I think maybe I can turn this chess board into a cool coffee table with some, you know, if I sand it down and maybe put like, I don't know, maybe a clear coat of blue matte paint or something like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on now. And hopefully this works. I also need to find legs for it somehow. So I did a little test and I don't think what I was thinking was gonna happen is gonna happen. It's, uh, this paint is like a chalk type paint and I thought it would be clear enough that you could still see the checkerboard below. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's still kind of my dream that it's gonna happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So worst case scenario, I think it's still gonna be a really cool color. I think it's gonna turn out really blue. Here goes nothing. Definitely can't see through that. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's really thick paint. Wow, it's super chalky. But I actually think it's kind of cool. And I probably could have done just like a really soft coat like this and it made it dusty, but I think it's too late for that now. Let's just paint this whole thing blue. I actually think it looks cool. I, I wish it had the checkerboard underneath it. You can kind of almost still see it. And I'm wondering, and again, this is probably not actually possible, but I'm wondering if I sand down this on the top layer now, if the checkerboards will come through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna sit and wait, uh, I guess for a day until the paint 
um, drives and then I'm gonna sand down the top to see if I can get like a cool blue top. I don't know if that's possible. I'm just winging these things. I also need legs obviously and I think there is a giant piece of wood in here. Well, I don't think that, I know there is. This piece of wood here, this would make beyond a sturdy leg, well, or four legs. It's just super thick and, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to hand saw it, I guess. If this doesn't work, my backup plan is actually this table. It's pretty hideous, <laughs> and when I said, yeah, it's very hideous, it's just ugly, but, if I, I can't manage to make a table out of the chessboard, uh, I'll come back and just paint this, make it less ugly. But this is a massive amount of sawing, even for a Canadian. <laughs> Forgot my safety glasses. Safety first. Okay, it's become transparent already. You can see, yeah, like the square. So here goes nothing. This actually came out exactly as I was hoping it would. I think it looks awesome. It's funny, sometimes you just wanna make things look old. I uh, have been using mostly P80. I'm gonna put on some P40 now. I'm just gonna add like some scratches essentially to it. And this table um, is gonna be my new uh, coffee table. I freaking love it. So that's it, the table is done, and I actually love it. I think it's so cool. I love what you can do when you just kind of like use your imagination and, and attempt something. It's obviously got this vintage, crazy, strange look, but I literally made this out of scrap wood I found in a pile here in the basement. And I'm stoked with that. I am uh, covered in blue powder paint, so I look kind of like a Smurf. So I'm gonna end this video. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace.